All right, so we're on Behance. This is my specific profile here on Behance, behance.net forward slash Adrian Graphics. I've already got it set it up, but I'm honestly going to tell you right now, I am not impressed with it. I just switched over the name this morning from Adrian uh, Graphics to Adrian Agency because we have repivoted and changed our brand. But this is my portfolio that I currently have. And you'll notice here like this, this image here looks really great. 35 people saw it, pretty pathetic. 20 people here saw this one, 71 on this one, 58. So depending on the type of work, 45, you can see how many people saw it, how many people appreciated it. And my profile overall, the West Coast car one did pretty decent, 100 people. But it's because I'm not taking the time to complete it right. And so in this video, what's really important to me is that you use the 15 million people that are visiting Behance every single month and you leverage and you try to get some of that traffic to you. Just like you would on Instagram, just like you would on Facebook, 15 million views is very, very good. That's a lot of traffic. And if you can funnel 1,000, 2,000, 10,000, 20,000 views to your profile, how many people do you think you can convert and attract to wanting to work with you? So you can see on my profile here, I have 600 and 6,500 views on my profile, 132 appreciations, 22 followers, and I'm following 40 people. I think it's good, obviously, to engage back with other people. I have some links. Uh, you can see all these links that are here that are going to different parts. And then I have my about me section. And you can see here just the top tools that I use, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, After Effects. I also use Premiere, which I can add to that. And you can see here, I've been on here since July 14th of 2014. So a very, very long time. Now, there's something important that you need to understand. You can set up a Behance profile without even having an Adobe subscription. You can set up a Behance profile without having an Adobe subscription. So if you haven't set up one up, because you're not part of Adobe, there's no excuse. Sign up, it's completely free. You're gonna use your email. I'm probably gonna build another one from scratch and I'll record and document some of that for another video of a more, more tutorial type video. But this one is just to give you a basic understanding of the power of Behance and not cutting corners. So if you look at your profile, I go to edit my profile here. You can see you have your name, your occupation, try to keep it simple. I used to have a lot more in here. Um, you can put where you're located. You can put your website URL, you can you have a team name you can create, you have all your social links that you can link people back to, which is really important because if you see here, Behance actually has a very high domain rank and a URL rating specifically, even just on my, my page alone, they have a ridiculous amount of backlinks and here it is their traffic, right? This is their organic traffic, almost 16 million visitors a month. So this is a massive le leveraging opportunity. And if you can refer these people back to your website or to your YouTube or whatever it is, this is going to help you a lot. I want to make sure you put a detailed description in here. I'm probably going to expand upon this um, at another time. We are not going to have enough time in this video, but I'm going to definitely add to this. And I'm going to put some more of my experience. Again, more links that are beyond social media. And you can see here on the web, a design to inspire. So it kind of breaks down in those tabs. So make sure you don't skip this step. I think this is a really important step that a lot of people would probably skip and just do the bare minimum. Put a picture of yourself, put a picture of your company icon. The truth is, as you probably have heard this before, is a picture of a person is gonna be a lot more recognizable than an icon or your logo. So I would recommend putting your face in there, especially if you're a newer creative, a newer designer, and you're trying to build that reputation. A big smiling face is gonna be a lot more sellable than some cool looking icon. So something to think about. Now, the second piece of this is once you've done that, I want you to just go to Behance. You might know some people that are on Behance. You might have some artists and people that you follow, like this guy right here, Daniel DTM Flores out of Atlanta, Georgia. Super cool, he's getting some love and some shout outs right now. But if I wanted to type in like logo design, right? I can just type in logo design. I can find some cool brands, some cool logo designs. Like look at these, 5,000. What if I could have 5,000 people view one of your logo designs? How cool would that be? So check this out, chain key, right? 375 people appreciated that one. So look around, look at the other people's stuff. They don't even have a title at the top. They got this tiny little icon here that they put as part of the image, but chain key logo design for crypto related business. The concept here is a letter C, letter K and a key. So you can see here, they gave you a little bit of a background. Thank you so much for visiting my project. And that's it. This is the only thing they put on there. Look how many people viewed it. So you don't always have to have a ton of stuff. I can hit appreciate on here, which I'm going to do because I think it's a great, great design. Um, and then I can go look at other people. So some people are going to have a lot more to their stuff. So let's go in here and type in typography. I just wanted to give you a couple examples. You need at least two different examples to look at. Here's another one, Exo Trail Space Mobility Graphic Design. You open this project up, you can see they got their logo at the top. 
Then they have a, a description of everything they do. See a little more detail, right? It's edge to edge. They got this really nice rendering mock-up design that's in here. And you scroll down, look at this really cool design with the icon. These mock-ups are beautiful. Clean blue, blue mock-up there. I keep scrolling down. Here's another mock-up. It's 27 degrees. You can see here the before of the logo, the after. Much cleaner, much simpler, much better design. The black and white version. Oh, it looks like it changed colors. Oh, this is an animated one. Right, so he's showcasing that he can animate the logos. Um, here's another great mock-up. So there's all, all these different elements. And look how much he put into this. Look how much time he invested into this. This is quite a bit. Now, you don't have to go as detailed as this, but this could give you some inspiration of how to create your portfolio and how to really showcase your work. I love what he's doing here. I think it shows a lot of detail, it shows the colors. He did not cut corners. He actually took the time to do this the right way. And companies are gonna notice that. You can see the parallels between the person that did just the one logo and the person that's telling the story. Look how much, how much more engaging, look how much more powerful this brand showcase is. Look at this, even this logo mock-up on the building, like he's got tons and tons of stuff here. Look at all this amazing descriptions and details. You can tell this person really knows what they're doing and they're really, really talented at what they do. And they've really built it. Look at their stationery, their letterheads, all this, right? So this is part of what I wanna do on my portfolio is I wanna take more time and not cut corners, make sure that I get as many of the things as I can on here. Look at even custom icons, right? Pictograms is what he calls it in his. He might be a European guy. And so you can see here the typography that they're using. He literally gives you their website. I mean, everything. This is a whole showcase of this entire client. Love this mock-up. This is absolutely beautiful of the lanyard, hats, pocket logo, socks. I mean, look, at it's just endless with more descriptions, more details. This is the type of thoroughness that you want to implement into your business. Now, I'm not saying you have to go as far as this, but you want to find a middle ground. Find something that is, is good for you, that works for your business, and even linked it back to some other projects. Look how many people viewed this. 17,000 people. There's no mistake that it reached that many people you saw. One logo on a page got 5,000. This guy put all this detail and time into it and he got 17,000 people. I bet you he got a couple projects off of this. I bet you other people are gonna be working with him because of this, because you can message him right here. Boom, you can contact this guy. So I think that's really neat, a really great opportunity. Now, once you've found a few people that you wanna follow, whether it's me or David Soto or some of the other people that I've mentioned in my graphic design goats video, that's a really good resource. If you haven't checked that out, go check that out in the description. I'll put a little link up here in the top of the video, but go find other designers that you really love and are inspired by and go see what their profiles look on Behance and just follow the proven success. Follow people that have success and replicate what they're doing. Clone it for your own brand, your own business and your own projects. All right, so the next piece to this is not just following what they use, but keeping it simple. I don't want you to overdo it. These guys did so much. They might have a whole team that came up with that. I don't know if that's a solo organization, but it's tempting to want to do more when a lot of the times doing less is much more effective. But they say KSS, keep it simple, stupid. So if you actually apply that acronym to this and just keep it simple, you'll have a lot more success and you won't overwhelm people. Now, one thing that I want to mention that's a big deal on my portfolio that I want to change is doing logo mock-ups on different places like you saw on that other project. Actually mocking up the logo and not just having the black and white version or just the colored version on a white background is gonna make a big difference on the main profile image. So I wanna make sure that on the profile image that you do a really cool mock-up that's gonna grab people's attention. Just putting a white background with a logo on it is, is okay, but it's not great. And so if you want a great portfolio, you really wanna grab people's attention, do a logo mock-up and feature that as the main cover image for that specific project. The last piece of this, and I think this is a really important element, is when you go in to create a project, and let's just do one real quick. I'm gonna go up in here, I'm gonna exit this, share your work, right? You're gonna create a new project. You have all these beautiful elements of content that you can add in here. You can click on them here, whatever, but you can start building. So at the top, I'm probably gonna to wanna to put some text and I'm gonna put in here, let's just do a new project, cruise landscaping, right? Now I have this text in here. You can see there's a little box. I can go out and center it. I can make it bold. I can bring it up to, you know, 22, something like that. I can change the font. It gives me a few different font styles. Not a lot, but a few different. I think Arial Black is really nice. All right, so cruise landscaping services, 
And then what I'll do, um, let's see here. I'm, and I notice I'm not doing services logo. I do have just a logo for them, but I'm gonna be building out a lot of stuff, doing vehicle graphics. I'm kind of building this project out so that it can be updated over time. I'm gonna change the color of this and make it just 3333 all the way across. There we go, Hit add and confirm that so it's a little darker. All right, so I'm gonna show you real quick how simple it is to bring over your artwork into it. So you gotta do it as a JPEG or a format that actually Behance will support. And so you wanna do something that's high quality, that's high resolution that can be zoomed in. So I'm gonna open it up in my vector program, which is Adobe Illustrator. And we're gonna go ahead and open up these outlined AI files. And we'll just take one of the concepts because we're gonna end up updating it, but we're gonna take one of these concepts that I did here. We'll just say this one specifically. So now I'm gonna go file, export for screens, cruise, concept one. This is actually my favorite concept for them. Um, this doesn't mean this is the one that they're gonna pick, but this is just my favorite concept. I'm gonna choose this folder. I can do it as a JPEG, a PNG. I can even export it as an SVG. And then keep in mind, there's assets, right? And then there's artboard. So I'm exporting this as an artboard and I can, I can do just the one artboard. So make sure you select the ones that you want or if you want all of them, you're gonna need to rename them. So I'm gonna hit export artboard now and boom, now I got this in here. Okay, let me show you this now. So here it is. We're gonna go ahead and drag this in. Beautiful, edge to edge, beautiful quality. I'm showing that logo there. Now see this little ad tags? This is the type of stuff I'm talking about that I don't want you to shortcut. I don't want you to, to skip over. So you need to add tags. So we can say Oak Tree Landscaping Logo, Landscaper Logo, Landscaper, 155 projects, Landscapers Near Me, Landscaper Website, right? Tree Logo Design, look at that. Tree Logo Design, one project, Tree Logo Design, 59 projects. So you can tag other projects. And then you want to give this a description. So Oak Tree logo design for landscaping company. Perfect. So we're going to use that as an alt text. I think that's a good description. Now that I've got that in there, you can also see settings in here. And this is another great opportunity. Let me move this out of the way to add more, more value. So cruise landscaping services company logo. And then again, you can say logo design brand identity design okay, this, how many tags are in here these tags are really key branding brand identity i mean this is really great typography so i could put that in there adobe illustrator right that's another one that i used visual identity and then graphic designer i saw a graphic designer in here these are going to help you be found and showcase your work more um, i already have logo design in there so then also what i'm going to do now is tools use so adobe illustrator boom cc and Adobe stock, right? So you got that tree from Adobe stock and then you have graphic design, illustration, let's see all fields, branding, here we go. I think those are the three big ones. So I'm gonna hit done on those and then V has visibility, everyone, and then you can do more if you want. So this is that extra step I'm talking about. You can cut corners or, or not, but another time I'm just taking the extra time to kind of tell the story. This is the conversation I had with this client. Okay, and then I could put the, the co-owners, if there was somebody else that worked on this project with me, you also have display, if you don't wanna have the comments on there, then you have discoverability. So I can add brands, I can add credits, I can add teams, lots of things. So make sure you do the deep, you do the extra work, put the time into it, and then when you're done, I can come in here and hit publish, and I can edit the cover image if I want. I can add more stuff, the vehicle graphics and stuff over time, which I'm planning on doing, and I can add more details and add to that description that you saw there. But for the now, I can just hit publish. You can see, boom, there it is. So I've published this cruise landscaping logo, even though this isn't the final one. I'll probably end up deleting this when I'm done, but I just wanted to show you now, this gives you a link to be able to share this on social, which is another aspect of why you're creating this to begin with, is you wanna be able to share this stuff on social. So my, my request for you, if you're watching this video, I want you to create your profile, I want you to not cut corners, and then towards the end of this, to get started, I want you to create your first four projects and make them thorough, but keep them simple. Do not skip the title, do not skip the tags, do not skip the categories, do not skip the de description that we filled out together. That's going to impact your discoverability. And that is one of the reasons why you're gonna build a portfolio online. It's not just to drive traffic to it from all of your social platforms, but also to find the existing 15.8 million people that are going to that website on a month and trying to get some of those to see your name, see your brand and to build that reputation, to click on you and to message you for more work if they love your stuff. And so this is something I wanted to share with you guys today that I think is really important when it comes to your online portfolio on Behance. If you aren't set up yet, 
click the link down in the description to set it up. If you need inspiration, if you need questions, if you need help, drop a comment down below or send me an email. I'd be happy to help you. And if you haven't already, go check out the Instagraphics Pro Network because we're talking about this type of stuff in our community. Everybody's sharing their wins. Everybody's sharing their challenges, what they need to level up in. We are more than just about design. We're about your health and your relationships and living your absolute best life as a creative, as a designer. So I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.